Hello everybody, welcome back to the Advanced Machinery Tutorials. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, Void Miner and as you can see the Void Miner gives us the actual actual ore. So in that case we had the had the coal and then the mechanical furnace we've got that we've got the Void Miner then we've got the mechanical furnace and that will actually double the ores for us. So instead of getting one, we'll get two. So it's really a nice way to get a bunch of resources. And if you happen to need the ore for some reason, then you can generate it with the uh, with the void miner. Now the recipe on it is fairly straightforward. So it's you know, uh, three blocks of redstone, block of iron, two diamonds. At this point, though, should be generating a decent amount of of um, resources. So that, sh I mean, honestly, it's not going to be not going to be a problem at all. Then we have the mechanical furnace. I couldn't find it last time. It's right there. And again, uh, we got to use a regular furnace and some iron and redstone. That's good. And then we just have the uh, the, the uh, conveyor belt which is just the three iron across the way. Yeah, this one is just super, super simple. Now, I didn't add the, the uh, combustion generators on this one like I did on the other ones, but you certainly could do that if you wanted to keep up with the theme of generating not only resources, but energy while you do it. Nothing wrong with it, uh, that's for sure. Uh, so in this one, we, we start with the, with the void miner, and then we're going to add the mechanical furnace to it. And then here, right after the mechanical furnace. Oh, I need to go back to uh, creative mode here. There we go. Whoops. There we go. And then that goes there. Now we're going to add in our just the regular conveyor belts like so and as you can see you, you you get the ores get the ores themselves now you can use the mechanical furnace just you know just by right clicking on it like you can the other stuff and again I like to enclose these uh, just to keep it from flying all over the place which it tends to do every once in a while even on these regular it, it's better with the with the conveyors but it still happens you still get a flying all over the place now again if you wanted to generate uh, ores and resources with this then you just add in some combustion generators because we do get coal here and it doubles it up so and you're still going to get a good, a good amount of coal even if you're using it for the you know for the uh, uh, generation because I mean look at here so we still got 30 coal on this one so yeah that's really it as far as the void miner is concerned that that one is really simple very simple to use now how's our power doing we're, we're continually adding stuff to it, but look at our power generation. Uh, not bad at all. 98 out of 98,000 out of 100,000. So, yeah, I mean, we're barely scratching the surface on this guy, which is good, which is good. Okay, so one thing we need to look at, though, is processing. Um, oh, now, see, see, here's that situation that I talked about where this... This isn't working for some reason. That happened last time too. Uh, crusher. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what the cause of that is. I only seem to be having the problem on this particular setup. So I don't know what the deal is on there. But anyway, something just to be to be aware of. If you log back in and it's not working, you just replace that. 
And in survival mode, you can just break these with your hand. You don't need anything special. So, all righty. Well, that's it. A real short video for today. We'll do sand next time because that's the other thing we need to process yet is sand. So I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.